Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where we talk about the things we love like gaming, shows, and anime. We're so close to seeing the new Trunks art this Sunday! I can't wait to see what Black Goku has in store for us. So far, there's actually been an image leaked showing a Dragon Ball Heroes arcade machine with Black Goku on it. This image shows us that he's only wearing one green Potara earring. I'm not sure at all what this green Potara earring gives this Goku. I mean, could it be more power? I hope it isn't anything with fusion though. I'd like to see a bad guy who actually turned his ass off to become who he is. Many villains were either born with strength or whatever the case, they never train. Frieza was forced to train, but when you're going up against Saiyans and other races, shouldn't you be well aware that your opponents are going to get stronger and stronger, eventually reaching a higher power level and winning the outcome? Either way, let's see what's in store for us. In the meantime, you can buy one of these Android 18 figures. It's a great exaggeration of 18 giving it an anime cliche to make them sell up the ass. The collectible figures cost $96.99. I wonder if her boobs and butt weren't inflated, would it still cost the same? I doubt it. Remember that episode where everyone was trying to keep Beerus' secret about Monaka from Goku? Yamcha ended up spilling the beans by accident, but luckily Goku still didn't find out. But the funny thing is that, by the looks of what Yamcha said earlier, it clearly shows that he knew what was going on. So it's like they wanted people to complain about Yamcha. Everybody was getting on that hate train, even Toei Animation. But I think Yamcha is just playing around. It would surely explain this image. Yamcha clearly has more balls than everyone here. So I finally finished the AF manga and holy crap is it badass. I made a video a while back on AF, but the website I read it from stopped halfway and the final page said that the creator wasn't able to finish it. To my surprise, it was finished. Things got a lot more interesting from where I left off. But I got a complaint. Why the fuck did it finish right away when things were getting better? So I'm gonna try to summarize it here. Vegeta, Gohan, Trunks, and Kibito Shin couldn't defeat Zykor, but they barely managed to trap him in the Z-Sword. They said he will be able to break free within a month, so they want Goku to come back so he can take care of Zykor. They have to summon Shenron, but the Dragon Balls are stoned, so they can't do that. But what they can do is gather seven Saiyans, and that would somehow allow Goku to come back. Problem was that there were only six Saiyans, so they went to New Planet Namek, summoned Purunga, and Trunks got this crazy idea to summon Broly and try to convince him to bring back Goku. Surprisingly, they did bring him back. He was on Earth, but since Broly only reached the first Super Saiyan form, everyone else was overpowering to him. They captured his ass and he broke free and escaped. Goku on the Ryoshin Realm, which is the realm where the dragons live, hears that his friends are trying to bring him back and he can't do anything about it, but Pycon can since he isn't bound to that realm. So he goes off to Earth and finds Broly. This is where things get even more exciting and Pycon talks to Broly and he actually manages to calm him down. Pycon easily dodges Broly's attacks and again, it surprises me that he calms him down. This is the kind of Broly I was always wanting to see. I was always wondering if the what if scenarios I've played through in games weren't exaggerating when Broly actually calms down. And what happens after this? Well, it turns out that right away we're treated to Roshi telling the AF story to Goku Jr. and Vegeta Jr. And then right away he croaks after realizing that his job on training them is complete. And then we get a beautiful ending. And even though that ending was beautiful, what the fuck? It just finished like that. It's like reading a book or manga and once you're halfway done, the book just finishes in the next page and you're left with the next half of the book or manga pages completely blank. So since this was all just a story from Roshi, Zykor never comes back, Goku doesn't return because they never did convince Broly to get together with the other Saiyans to try and bring Goku back, and when Goku was sparring with Pycon earlier, Goku's finishing blow showed us that he's learned a new transformation, but it was a quick brief moment from behind. It made me wonder if Goku was going to be brought back and if he would unleash this new transformation against Zykor. But we're just left with so much unfinished business. I was hoping to see Trunks reach Super Saiyan 4 or even Goten. And since Broly was brought back as well, I was assuming that he would reach Super Saiyan 4 as well. I mean, in Extreme Butoden, he's become a new support character and I assume that this is where they got the idea from him. Also, Pan and Bra go Super Saiyan out of nowhere just because Vegeta mentioned that the girls couldn't even reach the Super Saiyan form. It's quite a surprise that they did all of a sudden, but it was a lame surprise in my opinion, not to mention the fact that this led to nothing. I still recommend people to check it out. I'll leave a link below so you can all check that out basically. Trust me though, it's insane. Well, that's as much as I can say for today. 
Tomorrow we got an exciting episode to look forward to, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you think about the AF manga. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos, mate. This is Score saying, have an awesome day.